On today's episode of Watch Chair Go, I'm gonna tell you a crazy story about the 84 Rampage. What is going on guys? I'm Watch Chair Go and today we're here with my 1984 Shelby Dodge Rampage. It's of course the Turbo One swapped Shelby Rampage here and uh, this tire exploded. I was in bed the other night. It must have been two, three in the morning or something like that. And I thought I heard a gunshot go off outside my bedroom window. And I was like, what on earth was that? And I jumped up, ran over to the window, like looking around, like was there a drive-by? What's going on right now? Really weird for this neighborhood actually. And I came out the next morning and the tread separated from the rubber on this tire. And these tires, they're not that bad. They all look the same. There's this much tread. I'll show you. Uh, here's another one. You can see that it's totally fine. Of course, they're all crazy old. I have no clue how old they are. The old owner said at least 25 years, and I guess they might even be more than that because the Eagle ST has been out of production for a very, very, very long time. So we've got this uh, crazy tire right here. All the cords are out of it. It looks absolutely terrible. So I hopped on Tire Rack and ordered a complete set of the tires that are supposed to be on here because these are uh, 60 tall and the others should have been 50 tall. I think that's the ratio in the tire size calculation there. So if we come right over here, ignore all these other boxes of stuff for other projects, we have tons, okay, four. Brand new Continental Extreme Contact Sports, which is one of the few applications I could find in a very quality tire for the Rampage. So I'm super pumped to get these on. Let's go jack that up, put the spare on it, drive it over to some place that can mount and balance these tires and get it going. I'm also excited to get the Rampage back on the road. I haven't driven it in uh, probably a month or something like that. These lugs are unbelievably loose too. That is mind blowing. I just used almost no force to get those loose. So let me get the jack under here, get the cordless impact, we'll get this up in the air. I'm going in. What on earth? Check this out. The Rampage has a full-size spare on one of the rally wheels, and it's a BF Goodrich Radial TA that must be 10 times newer than all of the other tires. Uh, day code looks like 214. I'm actually really excited to see it. It has a brand new spare. Let's get this on here. Okay, we're here with my trusty portable inflation system, which is just a uh, crazy valve train that I put on a normal air bubble there. It lets you get tons of air out of air bubbles super fast and also refill it without holding on. Zero pounds in this bad boy. Let's see how fast we can put some pressure in it. Fighter jet right there, kind of cool. You can see this tire failed catastrophically and it is ugly. It probably blew out right there. You can see it went all the way to the actual bead, that little crack right there. So there it is. Here's the new rubber loaded up. Ah, man. <laughs> it's tough lifted two at once and holding a camera at the same time. All right. Off to Firestone we go. I think I got everything secure here. And I need a ride back. I don't want to call Uber, so we'll go with this ride. On to our next order of business. Will the Rampage start? The million dollar question. Opens right up. Girl, I believe in you. Gotta give it a little bit of makeup throttle when you're first starting up the Rampage. I kind of forgot how much fun it is to drive this thing. There we go. We got it moving. Hasn't moved in a long time.
Okay, we made it. Let's go figure out just how steep this quick tire change is gonna be. It's crazy in here, but $112 out the door. Not that big of a deal. We're gonna get it done. So I'm gonna be back to pick up the Rampage in a few hours with these brand new beautiful tires. A tire that this truck truly deserves because this is an all out like sport tire and this is a sport truck. So the old Eagle STs didn't have much in the way of tire technology and these Connie Extremes should be pretty great. Goodbye Rampage, I'll see you in a few hours. This is actually one of my favorite things to do. Take the boosted board and ride across this four lane highway right here. Made it past all the nonsense. Let's rock and roll. Ooh, a C6 convertible, not bad. Well, I tried to take the boosted board back to Firestone, but Gabe insisted that we take the old turbo Saturn Sky. So, Burn, what a loss. I know. <laughs> <laughs> I was just excited to ride back across the highway on the boosted board. So much power. Much. This car is super fun. It is. And I haven't been in this in a while. I always remember how good it is when we take it out. Yeah. One turbo four cylinder to pick up another turbo four cylinder. It's still on the lift. They've had this for how many hours? It's been all day. <laughs> okay, they're actually doing them right now. Let's uh, walk in there and check out the process. It says rotary lift. That's clearly, you know, a four cylinder. Clearly turbo. an inline four and yeah, not, a not a rotary. There's no Doritos found inside this rampage. None. <laughs> no trifecta. <laughs> well, we are here at Firestone. They've got all the wheels and tires off. Here's that awesome full size spare, and it looks like everything's getting mounted up right now. The other ones don't look terrible for being 25 years old, 30 years old. Say what? The new one's looking better though. The new one's like something. So. That is insane, man. Just an old piece of junk. Look at that. Nice soft belts. Yeah, that's it. Oh yeah. I've never seen that on a tire before. First time I've ever seen it underneath this truck. We've got painted brake drums that look pretty good. Everything looks pretty reasonable up here. And the brakes up front look brand new. Check this out. Look at that brake lining. It looks like it's never been driven on. It's hard to see the uh, inside pad, but the outside one looks wonderful. Of course, it's still covered in rust because it hasn't been driven in a long time. Even that said though, I mean, yeah. Rust isn't bad. And we gave it a little wiggle earlier and I didn't feel any wheel bearing play. Tech checked it out. He said everything seems all right. I'd say the Rampage is pretty roadworthy still. I'm surprised the trash one came apart that easy. vlog going to Arby's. Also, it's it's right there. Shortest food trip ever. That's great, sir. I got you. Bum, 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 bum. Arby's. They have the meats. Pretty good snack? Yeah. And now, it looks like the wheels are just going back on, so perfect timing. Guess we could run inside and pay them. Wheels on the ramp. They go ramp. The only workout I've ever done in my life. Infinite tightening. All right, Rampage is back together. Thanks, Cody. And uh, Gabe's gonna drive it home. I guess I'm gonna take the sky. This truck is incredible. Look, all that vibration that we were fighting and all the noise and the dash. It's all gone. Everything is better in the Rampage. It was just the tires, honestly. Like, look at this. Look at the wheel. It's not moving around. It tracks straight 
down the road. Boost. <laughs> and it's so quick. I'm in like fourth gear and that much boost is an awesome pull. This truck is awesome again. Wow. I was all worried about all the vibrations and fixing all the problems. It was just out of round old tires. I love the way this thing drives now. It's so much better. I'm also surprised the tie rod ends were perfect. The wheel bearings were perfect. Everything was great. This truck came back with a much cleaner bill of health than I was ever expecting. And I'm just incredibly happy about it. The speedometer is almost dead accurate now. You don't have to do a bunch of math in your head to figure out how much faster you're going than the speedo says. It's only three mile an hour slow now, which is reasonable. You're not gonna get pulled over for that. It's just great. I figured I'd take it on a big long drive, get the oil up to temp for once, get the vehicle up to temp, just get everything moving again. And uh, yeah, tomorrow, I think we're gonna clean this car up. Well, the Rampage is a million times better and I am so excited about that. Look at these big meaty Continental tires. Oh man, we got some heat in them too. I went and, uh, went and did a little driving there. This thing felt amazing. I just drove through the neighborhood, hit some corners at, you know, reasonable amount of speed, and it's unbelievably sticky, just right where you want the front end to be. Uh, I'm honestly surprised at how well it handles. Thank you guys so much for watching. That is it for today, and please like, share, subscribe, do whatever you wanna do, and I will talk to you next time. All right, it is time to say goodbye to the Cavalier. I bet you guys forgot I had a Cavalier. So did I, until the other day. We were like, oh, this thing's still sitting out here? And of course, it's still sitting out here. So, there's the 50,000 subscriber Cavalier. We're gonna hook it with the forklift, toss it on the trailer, and I just sold it for 500 bucks. The new owners promised that they would keep jumping it until it dies, so that's all I needed. Underglow remote, CD player remote, another underglow remote. <laughs> that's a complete setup right there. Oh, that CV shaft. Well, goodbye, champion of the skies. You will uh, hopefully live to soar another day. <laughs> I hate this trailer. Also, the car's battery's dead. It was all I could do to roll the window down. <laughs> we made it out. All right, let's put these ramps up.